Welcome to the Step 1 of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about glycogen storage diseases. There are 15 types of glycogen storage diseases that have all been identified caused by an autosomal recessive gene. They all cause an accumulation of glycogen in the cells that can be tested for via a periodic acid shift stain test. The periodic acid shift stain will stain the glycogen in the cells for visualization of glycogen levels. Here, we will talk about the type 1, 2, 3, and 5, all of which are autosomal recessive and are a result of very poor carbohydrate metabolism. Von Gierk disease, Pompe disease, Cori disease, and McArdle disease. Von Gierk disease is a type 1 glycogen storage disease. It is caused by a deficiency of glucose 6-phosphatase the enzyme responsible for the finale of gluconeogenesis cleaving the phosphate group of glucose 6-phosphate generating the free glucose, which can then be transported out of the cell. Since this mechanism is faulty, gluconeogenesis stops at glucose 6-phosphate and then accumulates. This causes it to push equilibrium into other pathways, resulting in excess glycogen that can cause the liver and kidneys to enlarge, elevated blood lactate, triacylglycerides, and uric acid, which leads to gout. The liver will be unable to regulate blood glucose, and thus, during periods of fasting, there will be severe hypoglycemia. The treatment for von Gierk type 1 to storage disease is having frequent oral glucose and cornstarch, and avoiding fructose and galactose. Like we talked about in the previous video, glycogen can be metabolized by the lysosome using alpha-1,4-glucosidase. Pompe disease is the type 2 glycogen storage disease. It is caused by a deficiency of this enzyme. With Pompe disease, cardiomegaly, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, hypotonia, exercise intolerance, and even death occur. Cori disease is the type 3 glycogen storage disease caused by a deficiency of both the debranching enzymes 4-alpha-gluconotransferase and alpha-1,6-glucosidase. The findings are similar to von Gierke disease, however, the symptoms are less severe and blood lactate levels remain normal. Unlike von Gierke disease, cardiomyopathy can occur. And finally, McArdle disease is the type 5 glycogen storage disease caused by deficiency in the skeletal muscle glycogen phosphorylase. Since liver glycogen phosphorylase is unaffected, blood glucose levels remain normal. Upon exercise, the muscles cannot break down glycogen. Patients will experience muscle cramps, myoglobinuria, arrhythmia from having electrolyte abnormalities, and a second wind because blood flow increases to the muscles. When patients are asked to exercise and their lactate levels measured, it will be flat. However, the levels of ammonia will still rise, as expected. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of View. We'll see you in the next video.